AFC Wimbledon is one of the craziest stories in English football history. They were an amateur team that rose up the divisions and reached the pinnacle of the game, established themselves as a Premier League team, and then lost it all when their inept ownership moved the club away. But instead of remorsing, their fans responded by making their own club, making that rise again, and now they sit at the same level as their former team. And that is not why I'm going to be talking about AFC Wimbledon today. So if not their dramatic story, why do I want to talk about Wimbledon? Well, it's because of a weird trend that I noticed involving them. Now, you know that I follow youth national teams a lot. I just talked about the U19 Euro, and I try to keep up with youth national teams the best I can. And when you follow those teams and you look at specific nations, a lot of their top players come from the same clubs. So in Spain, a lot of them come from Barcelona and Real Madrid. Italy, they'll come from Roma, Juventus, the Milan clubs. And Portugal, well, Benfica, Sporting, Porto, and Wolves. And something similar happens with England. While a lot of England's top players come from the more traditional powers, something I noticed at the goalkeeper position, a lot of those players have a connection to AFC Wimbledon. This is something I noticed for a while with a couple of players I follow, but what made me really want to talk about this is when I saw Man City, fresh off of winning a treble, spend money on a young AFC Wimbledon goalkeeper, Spike Brits. At that point, I kind of wanted to look into this. The first player I noticed with this connection is Joseph Bursic, who was a part of England's U17 World Championship winning team in 2017. He was a starter for them at the European Championship in the lead-up to that tournament, and he turned that success at youth level into a move to Stoke, still a Premier League team at the time. He's currently at Club Bruges, where he's the heir to Simil Mignolet under Scott Parker, and he's a player who became pretty famous after taking a free kick during a game. Yes, this is real. Because of that, he's always been a guy who I really rooted for. Another player with this connection is very familiar to me, Joe Whitworth of My Crystal Palace. Now, Crystal Palace actually started Woodworth a couple of games this season at the age of 19. Now, this was partially due to an injury crisis, but the only reason we only had two senior goalkeepers is because we felt confident in Whitworth. He was a big bright spot in that awful preseason for us, and we felt confident enough in him. He's also been an England Youth International at the U18 and U19 level, and he's another guy who has a big connection to AFC Wimbledon. Then, there's England's U19 Euro winning goalkeeper Matthew Cox. Cox had been an England goalkeeper since February 2020 with AFC Wimbledon. And after that, there's this weird gap that I don't really know about. But then in 2021, he joined Brentford and continued appearing in the England youth camps, became the starter for them at the U19 Euros, continued to start for them at the U20 World Cup, and looks to be one of the top goalkeeper prospects in England. And I can keep going. There's Will Mannion, who was an England U19 goalkeeper and was looking like a really good prospect before his career stalled out at Hull City. Then there's the aforementioned Spike Brits at the start, who's an England U16 goalkeeper who Man City just bought. This is a large amount of youth national team goalkeepers to be coming from a club, period, let alone one in League 2, the fourth tier of England. So, I wanted to look into it. Why is AFC Wimbledon producing all of these talented goalkeepers? Your first thought might be their former Premier League status. I mean, they were a Premier League team for a long time, and they could have developed some good infrastructure there, even if the club moved away. I mean, it should still be in Wimbledon. But no, from everything I could find, FC Wimbledon started with a blank slate as they started a new club. Well, even if they did start from scratch, maybe their academy is just very good now. I mean, there are teams like Southampton and Crewe, whose academies constantly punch up their weight. And now, there is some merit to this. I mean, AFC Wimbledon does have a pretty strong academy, especially for a League 2 team. They have a couple of players who are doing well in the championship and in Scotland, but it really doesn't match the output that they have as goalkeeper. Even though they do have a couple of youth nationals, it really doesn't compare to what they're doing at the goalkeeper position. Maybe their location. Wimbledon is located in southwest London, and as Crystal Palace fan, I can tell you that South London is a hotbed for talent. They have players like Declan Rice, Jaden Sancho, and Wilfred Zaha all coming from that specific area. And there are bound to be players that the top academies miss, especially at the goalkeeper position, where you can only have so many of them at one club at the same time. Of those five goalkeepers, Bursick, Cox, and Whitworth all come from South London, while Mannion comes from West London. And Spike Brits, I can't find any direct confirmation, but he appears to be a local player. 
So is that it? Case closed? They've got a decent academy and just in a perfect location, and that's why they're able to brew so many good goalkeepers? Well, it's certainly a part of it, but I think just stopping there doesn't give Wimbledon its due, because that overlooks how good they've been at developing goalkeepers from outside of their academy. As a club in the lower leagues, Wimbledon takes in a lot of players on loan, and the development of those loanees has been superb. The first name that comes to mind is Aaron Ramsdale. Ramsdale came to Wimbledon in January 2019. This was his second loan spell, excluding a one-game emergency loan, and his first one was at Chesterfield the year before. And this spell did not go well for him. Chesterfield were relegated, and from everything I can find, Ramsdale did not show himself well. But despite moving up a division for a spell at Wimbledon, he looked much improved as a player. He was actually named Wimbledon's Young Player of the Season, which is a testament to how good he's been, and he seems to be remembered fondly. He was able to turn a solid season in League One, becoming Bournemouth starter in the Premier League the very next season. And he has said that Wimbledon helped in his development as a player. Now that could just be him being nice, but there's a precedent for Wimbledon helping in the development of goalkeepers. George Long, who is currently Millwall's starter, was only a League One goalkeeper before his move to Wimbledon. Got him to improve, got him a move to the championship with Hull City, and he's been in the championship ever since. James Shea was in non-league before his move to Wimbledon, developed him, and he's now a championship level keeper as well. Then their current number one, Tazanev, came to the club for being released by Brentford, and he's developed into a New Zealand international goalkeeper. Wimbledon isn't just finding these players, they're developing goalkeepers to become better than what they are, and that's a huge part of why their goalkeepers are as good as they are. So what is the reason their goalkeeper development is so good? Well, one thing that I found is that their goalkeeping coach, Ashley Bays, seems to be extremely well regarded. Former players rave about how good Bezo is, and Aaron Ramsdale singled him out for praise. Now, he's a goalkeeper coach at a fourth tier side, so there isn't too much information to go off of with him, but he seems to be extremely well respected, and seems like a great coach for this level and is a huge part of the goalkeeper development. But there's something else I wanted to mention about the goalkeepers from the academy, a trait that they all share, and that's how good they are with their feet. For goalkeepers in the modern game, being able to play with their feet and keep the ball in possession is such a crucial part to being a complete keeper, and Wimbledon goalkeepers excel at this. I already mentioned Joseph Bursic being able to take free kicks, and Matthew Cox is noted for his distribution, and I don't think this is a coincidence. In an athletic article about Matthew Cox, Ashley Bays goes out of his way to praise Cox's distribution and says that Cox has everything he likes in a goalkeeper in abundance. Wimbledon values goalkeeper's distribution. Maybe that's why they gave Cox a chance after he got released from his first club due to being too small. And a growth spurt later, he's the best English goalkeeper in his entire age group. And it isn't just those two. Joe Whitworth has very strong distribution. As a Crystal Palace fan, I can tell you it was better than Vincente Guaita and England international goalkeeper Sam Johnston. He was that good with his distribution as such a young player. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the Man City signee Spike Britz is good with his feet. For those youth national teams that love to be ball dominant, having a goalkeeper who's good with his feet is crucial, which could be why so many Wimbledon goalkeepers end up being internationals. And if you look at the England U21 team right now, you see how good James Trafford has been with this distribution, and how important that it is now. And speaking of that U21 team, like, I was watching that game, Ashley Cole got a red card. Like, that Ashley Cole. I didn't even know he was coaching for the team then. But still, you see how important that it is for these players to be good with their distribution, and Wimbledon has done a great job preparing them for the highest level. So in all, I believe that Wimbledon is able to develop all of these goalkeepers because of a decent academy, a great location, and superb goalkeeper development that is unique in its own way. And as given the game, Joseph Bursic, who I'm going to be trying to watch in Belgium this season, hopefully get some time away from Simone Mignolet, Joe Whitworth and Matthew Cox, who could either continue to progress to the club, maybe get some cup games, or maybe they'll go out on loan, which would probably be the best for them. And Spike Britz, who will keep developing with the England youth teams and trying to break through at Man City. And I think it's really fun that such a relatively small team has been able to have such a big impact on the England youth national teams. And on top of that, it's cool to see something special, something unique coming out of AFC Wimbledon. They had their identity stolen from them, and to have something you know, unique to them as a club, I think it's very good for them. 
I mean, it's not quite having the crazy gang there, but I think it's something, and I think that's good. I mean, I've always had a soft spot for AC Wimbledon. They've got a pretty big connection to Crystal Palace beyond just Joe Whitworth. And, you know, I, they were one of the teams that I used when I used to play FIFA, which is dumb, but I've kind of liked them for that. And it's a team that I have a soft spot for. I'm hoping they can continue their progression and somebody who I have fun watching and hoping they continue this. And yeah, that's all I got to talk about. See you.